so today's vlog is going to be me getting ready for a wedding. You guys know our friends Austin and Cheyenne. They have been dating for longer than me and Parker. I think they started dating like almost a year before us. I don't know, but basically they've been together forever. We've all just been waiting for the day that they get married and that day is today. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm actually doing Cheyenne's makeup later and then we're filming their wedding, which is gonna be really exciting. We just posted, um, we made, oh, you guys saw, we vlogged about it. The first look video that you guys saw us film for them is gonna be linked down below. I posted a little bit on my Instagram, but the full video is on the Aspen and Parker Films channel. And I think it turned out so, 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 so cute. So you guys should go watch it if you want to. But I thought I would film myself getting ready today. I have a couple like new products that I'm trying. Not really that many, only like one actually. So never mind. <laughs> but um, I actually used this yesterday, so it's new, but I already tried it. I think I like it. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, but it's like the Radiance version. I don't know if it's new. They sent this to me and it came in the most beautiful box ever. I don't know where that box went, but it was like nice packaging. But I really, really like like super glowy skin. I'm gonna apply this to my face. I'm also just using the camera viewfinder as my mirror right now. <laughs> oh freak, I forgot I was gonna start with my eye. I always forget that. So in my main channel video this week, we did the husband buys my makeup challenge. So I'm gonna link that down below too. You guys should go watch it. Basically Parker just like picks out makeup and I try it and see what I think. But he got me the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte. I got the wrong, oh wait, I keep forgetting that I'm like what I'm doing. This is why I don't do makeup tutorials. I was just gonna put a little bit of this like on my eyelids to kind of prime them a teeny bit. I got all my stuff over here, but you guys can't see it. So this is one of my favorite palettes. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It is really dirty. It's like seriously just so beautiful and like the most perfect eyeshadow palette that I have ever seen in my whole life. I usually will take the color Smarty Pants, which is light brown, and I'll just kind of do this like in the crease. I never really do crazy eyeshadow. I'm not very good at eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Next, I like to take the shade Flower Child, which is just like light pink, and I am putting this on the lid. Usually I just use the same brush, but today I'm being fancy and using this different one. So yeah, that just goes on the lid. Then I'm taking this brush, it's a little bit smaller, and the Jet Setter color, it's a darker brown. I'm just gonna do a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that on like the outer corner. So that's all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow for now. I did my eyeshadow first because I'm gonna do winged eyeliner and I always mess up. So usually it's easier for me to like clean it up if I don't have foundation on because then I mess up my foundation. So my favorite eyeliner is the, this name is literally like rubbed off. I think it says Tardis, but it's by Tarte. But it's a freaking genius because it has like the liquid liner on one side and then pencil on the other. I think my pencil on this side is gone, but it's just like really useful. Now I'm gonna do my winged eyeliner. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Not too bad today. I always feel like it's easier to go like in this way than like out this way. I don't know why. Then I usually just take my little makeup wipes. These ones are my favorite. I always try out different ones, but I always like just go back to these ones, the Neutrogena ones. I just take like the edge of it on my finger and kind of just clean up the edge a little. Freak, I messed this side up. Now I gotta fix it. Okay, I think this one's bigger than this one. Okay, so that's all for the eyes for now. So I already did my primer. This has been my favorite foundation for a while. I'm pretty sure I've already like shown you guys me using it, the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea. I also have this new foundation brush from It Cosmetic. I asked you guys what, was that on my main channel? I think it was. I asked you guys like what your favorite makeup brushes were because I really need some new ones. I've had a lot of mine for like a really long time. So I like the It Cosmetic ones, but a lot of you guys said to try the Morphe ones and that they're like really good, but like all also cheap so I think I'm gonna order some of those um, I don't even know what like, what ones I need but this foundation is the best <gasps> I just got it on my clothes I like can barely see what I'm doing so I'm doing this in the viewfinder I have no idea how much I have on my face but I do know I have some on my leg and on my shirt oh yeah this is probably not enough <laughs> but yeah I usually like to use a brush I have a different foundation brush that's also a cosmetics but it's like a different shape I think I like this one better. I'm gonna get a little bit more. So last time I didn't know what I was doing because I couldn't see. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is like the fact that it's a dropper thing because I feel like I don't understand how to use it. Like that, I don't know. I feel like I have a beard. So what I was saying. 
saying at the beginning was that I'm really excited about Shape Tape Concealer. But last time I got way too much, so we're gonna try to do a little bit less. I also went and exchanged this for the shade that I thought was my shade, but I'm kind of thinking this is too light. Obviously, it's way too light right now, but like for under your eyes, you want to do just like a little bit lighter, you know? This is still maybe too light for me, but I like it. I see why everybody likes it so much. So yeah, this is too light for me. Lesson learned, whatever. For my setting powder, I always just use this little like Benefit Zero Shine one. This isn't, I don't think this is like meant to set stuff. And I always ask you guys like, what are your favorite setting powders? Cause I say that I'm gonna get a new one, but then I swear I have been using this for like over a year and it's not gone yet. So I'm just like waiting for this to be gone. This is a great product because it apparently has like a lot of powder in it. Cause I seriously like every time I use it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's probably gonna be empty this time and then it just never is next i'm so excited because i'm using the cheek parade palette from benefit i haven't actually used like this brush but i'm gonna try so i'm gonna use my hula one get a little bit of bronzer on here i'm always like really bad at contouring and make it like super dramatic on accident and then i just put on like way too much at once so i'm trying to start small i think that's looking good so far just gotta blend <laughs> Then for blush, I really like this palette because these are like three of my favorite blushes. And then I always like the Hula Bronzer. So it has the Dandelion one, which I like. I really, really, really like this one. And then I love the new California one, especially for summer. It is so freaking pretty. I don't even think I've used this California yet because I have like an individual box powder of it, but um, I don't know where that one went. But yeah, it's like so, 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 so cute. Next, I'm using my highlighter. So this is Santorini Sunset. This one is my favorite. So there's this one. And then London Luster is like a little bit lighter. So I have my fan brush. So then for lips, I really like this Tarte lip paint in namaste it's just like a really pretty mauve color it's kind of similar to my lip color but better so then on top of that i'm using this nars lip gloss this one's kind of like similar too but these ones like dry a little bit I'm putting the gloss on top oh freak i forgot i was gonna use this i like this the dandelion shy beam dude my under eyes are so light my bad i don't know don't know how to fix that oh well um next i'll do my eyebrows lately i've just been using my naked basics palette this this is my like everyday eyeshadow palette and then the tartlet one this is for if i'm doing like something a little more fancy i guess i don't know i only use the matte browns today because i'm just doing it simple and that's all that i use in this one but i really like this color for my eyebrows and i have this little brush from anastasia beverly hills so i just get a little bit of this brush out my eyebrows put it in my eyebrows this smells so good this palette is just my favorite i don't know what it smells like but it's something that reminds me of like when i was younger i just really like the smell a lot my camera just shut off i don't know where it cut me off also i just can't stop freaking looking at how like this is just way too light but whatever anyways i was saying i like this brow gel for when my eyebrows are like kind of long because it's like stronger hold so it holds them in place because my freaking eyebrows get so long i literally have to cut them like every other week or like every week sometimes so this one like almost gets a little bit crunchy but in a good way if that makes sense so next i'm using my mascara i either use this one now or the covergirl lash blast is like always my go-to one but i've been liking this one lately the tarte lights camera lashes but it usually has a little too much on the brush so i just kind of like wipe it off but i like it a lot For my lower eyelashes, I'm using my Pixie Bottom Lash Mascara, which you guys can get with the brow gel in my eye essentials kit. This just is freaking awesome. Pretty much everybody that like has tried any of my Pixie makeup says that this is their favorite thing. Everyone should get it. I'll link all these products down below. The very last thing I'm doing is taking my Pixie Glow Mist. I actually am gonna wait a little bit until my eyelashes dry. Otherwise, this like sprays them and then they touch like up here and down here. So I will spray this later. This is probably my favorite setting spray. I really like it. I just love like really glowy 
makeup but i think that's all so this is what it looks like just really simple i really need to wax my eyebrows like so bad but whatever now i'm gonna curl my hair and then i'll show you guys actually i'll show you guys the dress i'm wearing later but yeah i'm gonna curl my hair i have some clothes on the floor i need to put away and then i need to organize this rack i was gonna hang up my hats right here but then I decided to put a rack right here because I'm always trying to like post on my blog more. But since YouTube is my top priority, I just like don't think about my blog as much. Like I feel like I'm overthinking like the posts that I want to do instead of just like posting about what I'm doing. Cause like with vlog, we don't really plan like what we're doing. Like sometimes if we're going to be like out of town for a little bit, we'll be like, okay, hey, we need to vlog like extra days at home. Or like maybe we'll vlog going grocery shopping or something, but we don't really like plan what we're doing we just film what we're doing with blogging it should be the same way but since i like automatically think to vlog things i like don't think to blog them like take pictures like yesterday i vlogged us like hanging these pictures up and i should have like blogged about it and posted pictures and all that stuff and like taken pictures but i just like don't think about it i don't know why so yeah i'm trying to work on that because i really like blogging i think it's super fun so basically i put this rack over here so that any like new clothes i have i'll put them there or just clothes that I want to like shoot for like an outfit post or something because if they're in my closet sometimes they just get mixed up with like the old clothes that I like have already shot or don't want to shoot so I have some stuff here this is quite a lot of stuff because I just got a bunch of stuff from our store instead of being cute with the hats I'm being practical with the rack I just like literally forget like I just don't think I'll be wearing a cute outfit and I'll like do an outfit of the day in the vlog but it's like I should also do a blog post and I don't because I just don't think about it yeah have that there what else I think I will just show you guys later when I put on my dress. Okay guys, so this is my wedding outfit. This dress is so freaking cute. It's from ASOS and I love the color. I'm supposed to wear this color because I'm a bridesmaid. So Shai told me to wear light pink. This is from ASOS. I actually have a little pin right here because the slit literally comes up to here. I guess you would wear like a slip underneath or something, but I kind of just like the look of a pin. I might like adjust it. I just like barely stuck it in there but then for my shoes i think these are from lulu's i don't remember but i like them because the heel is not that high so they're actually pretty comfortable i think i've only worn these like one or two other times but yeah so this is the full look the dress is like keeps getting stuck on my shoes it's a little bit too long for me but what can you do so yeah it's really really pretty a really good price from asos then for my jewelry i have this necklace on that we have in our store and then this one we actually have coming to our store and this one's sold out yeah i will link everything down below and but these ones should be like up on my site soon then i just have on my ring and i don't have any bracelets on we have a matching bracelet of this but i can't find it so i was gonna wear that and i don't know where it is so this is my outfit so I hope you guys enjoyed this getting ready video. This is all we're gonna film today. We're already like filming the wedding later. We're just gonna do that instead of vlog, but we will be posting the wedding video to our Aspen and Parker Films channel. So if you guys wanna subscribe to that, we don't really post on there that often, but yeah, I will link that down below if you guys wanna check it out. But I'm so excited. I just love this dress. I literally ordered it like so last minute. and was like, oh my gosh, I hope this fits. I hope it looks good. And I think it's really cute. So I like it. And I think that's all. So make sure you guys thumbs up this video, subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.